In this video, we're going to cover the various options that you can use with the tooltip widget. Now, you will remember that we need these little squiggly brackets to place the particular property that we want to use. Now, the first property that we're going to cover is the content property. Now, for the content, we just used Julius himself. That's what we put in the title attribute. But with the content property, you can override that and put something else in there. So you just use the content keyword, and then you will remember we need a colon and then we can put the text that we want to display. And we'll just put something in different here. Let's just put in hail Caesar. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page. And there you can see it worked. Our new content is displayed. Now we can also use the track property. And basically the tooltip will track wherever you place the mouse over the particular element that you're associating the tooltip with. And in this case, of course, it will be our Julius Caesar image. So let's go ahead and put in the track property. And for this, all we do is set this to true. Pretty simple. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll refresh our page. And there you can see, look at this. The tooltip is now tracking our mouse over the image. That's pretty cool. Now, one thing really cool about the jQuery UI is that they provide all of these cool effects. Now, I want to point out that the effects that we're going to use for the tooltip UI is applicable to many of the other different widgets, but they really work well with the tooltip widget. So that's why I'm showing you some of these effects with the tooltip widget. But just keep in mind that you can use these with the different types of widgets. So the first thing we're going to do is specify the effect property. And we put that right here. And then you can pass in the different types of effects that you want to do. And we use quotes for that. And first we're going to specify pulsate. That's a really cool one. That's actually one of my favorites. And we'll put a comma here. And then you can specify a duration. And that's another property. So you can basically specify how long you want the effect to last. And in this case, we're going to specify 800 milliseconds. So we just go ahead and put in 800 right here. Now, we're not done. We actually need to use a third property, which is the show property. And we actually need a different set of squiggly brackets with that show property. So we actually put that outside of this. So we specify that right here and we use a colon. And actually, let's uh, rearrange this a little bit so we have a little bit more room here. And like I said, we need a different set of squiggly brackets. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll put that right here. And actually, uh, it automatically put that second one in but we want to put that other squiggly bracket right here. So there you can see, we've got the show property and then with inside the show property, we're specifying the effect that we want to use along with the duration. This is the exact format that you can use going forward if you want to use effects. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and refresh our page. And there you can see, we got that cool little pulsate. Now there are many different types of effects. You will remember we used the fade in before and we can use that right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll refresh our page. And now we get a nice fade in. Another one I like is the bounce effect. So let's take a look at that. And we'll refresh our page. And there you can see we get that cool little bounce. There is also the explode effect. This is actually a really popular one. So let's refresh our page. And there you can see we get that cool explode. You can also highlight the tooltip. And what that'll do basically is when we hover over our image, it will give you a quick highlight. It's kind of a nice little effect that you can use with your tooltip. And there you can see the highlight. Now that will disappear. Now, if you wanted that to stay up a little bit longer, you could of course increase the duration. The final one that I'm going to show you is the blind effect. This is another very popular effect. And let's take a look and see what we get here. And there you can see you got that cool little blind effect. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.